Um, I don't know that I'm going to surprise true Luther scholars very much, uh, unless they just look at my Luther and think, really, uh, this guy? Because um, I didn't know a lot about him. But one thing I really did not realize was the danger that his life was in. I don't think I'd, I had ever delved into that aspect of, of history and the Reformation to think that there were moments where his life was at stake, where there was a price on his head and he was hunted and hated and reviled. I knew that he wasn't everybody's favorite, um, especially, you know, the Catholic Church is not going to take lightly the, the changes that he's proposing, but I don't think I realized his life being at stake. Um, in a very, very real and imminent way. And um, so that was, that was new to me, and it gave me a, a new appreciation um, just in studying those, the great heroes of the Reformation and those who are martyred. Another thing, <laughs> something else that I didn't realize about him um, was there is a wink and a, a humor to him. One of the lines from one of his letters that inspired it's truth, but it inspired a great storyline in the book, was when there was another suitor for Katerina's hand, and that just wasn't working out. And Luther wrote to this man, and he said, um, do you want her or not? If, if not, then I need to know so we can go on and do something else. And he was just this kind of a broker, a very, that, to me that was a very personal, personal um, human connection. So he wasn't just this lofty, scholar, theologian, he was also very involved in the personal lives of the people who he interacted with.